So, no, I, I wouldn't say I have a passion for HR. Welcome back to Human Resources for the People. It's a human capital revolution. UBS Teamsters approved a historic contract today, and we're going to talk about the details of it. Uh, this came out today at 3 p.m. Uh, more than 86% of the union members who voted voted for the contract. Uh, it raises pay up to 55% for certain employees over five years, and it has pretty work, high workplace improvements, and I think that's probably going to be the focus of my talk today the contract vote was conducted by a third party there were 260,000 uh, eligible voters 150,000 cast a ballot which is 58 percent voter turnout and the wages will go into go be paid retroactively on August 1st once some supplements are finalized with the national master agreement. Uh, again, it was voted overwhelmingly at 86.3% win, which is huge. So let's talk about what this win means for the drivers and what the what the numbers actually shake out to be. Uh, the record pay increases, they eliminated the two-tier 22.4, and I'm going to talk about that real quick. They eliminated workers that are combination workers that take on a hybrid role at UPS. It's technically full-time, but they don't have to work Saturdays or Sundays. Uh, they work eight-hour eight, eight hour days, five days a week. It's the the work is similar to the twenty two point uh, the work of the twenty two point four driver is similar to a normal driver the RPCD which does preparing loading and delivering packages but their starting pay can be five for uh, five dollars per hour low, uh, lower those drivers have a starting pay of twenty dollars and fifty cents an hour and it can top out at thirty four seventy nine. Many of the 22.4 drivers enjoy that uh, setup because it, it offers more predictable schedules and no weekend shifts. They got MLK Day as a paid holiday, uh, which I find to be pretty interesting. I was curious of whether or not that one uh, had gone through. It was something that was being fought for, but no clear uh result whether or not that one had been won on my end uh they stopped driver facing cameras which i think is interesting i i'm sure that that's a big win for privacy in addition they put more restrictions on subcontracting and increased the part-time wages and i think the part-time wages uh, the increase of part-time wages will probably impact the drivers quite a bit because the the company will have less incentive to uh, to send uh, send work to part-time drivers you know, where they may, you know, they get less benefits, everything else that come with uh, being part time. And so that may result in more jobs for full time drivers because the incentive is no longer there. Uh, in addition, they tightened the restrictions on subcontracting, which I imagine, again, creates more more jobs and more availability. And something that I didn't see mentioned in some of the wins because it came so early on. Uh, there was a big win uh, from the Teamsters specifically surrounding air-conditioned trucks. Many of the trucks were not air-conditioned or not sufficiently air-conditioned for a significant period of time. And you know, early, early on in the negotiations, the company already promised that. So it's not cited really as a win, uh, but the company started promising that before before these before these were even finalized. I imagine it's still in the contract somewhere, uh, but it was it was already the, the company was already following through on this win or on 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 the air conditioned um, cabs. In addition, I mean, so the Teamsters are calling it a historic win for labor rights. It seems to be uh, pretty powerful. It seems to be pretty strong uh, compared to what their old contract had. I mean, I, I'm somewhat surprised uh, at how poor it was in many, uh, with many respects, right? That two tier 22.4 seems to be a huge sticking point. I understand why the company in included it, but I could absolutely understand why Teamsters drivers were not happy, happy with that two tier system. This comes on the heels of a really long campaign and mobilization. There's a contract unity pledge, lots of parking lot rallies, a strike authorization vote of 97% in practice picketing that took place in downtown, uh, downtown Los Angeles a few other places uh, so it seems like they were really gearing up for this contract and were seeking uh, seeking big wins um, and and it, it appears that they got it so the drivers will go from two dollars 75 cents an hour raise immediately on august 1st this year next year it's a little bit slighter 75 cents 75 cents and then 2026 20, that's going to be up to a dollar and then two dollars 25 
part-timers will make a minimum of twenty five seventy five by the end of the contract, which I think that'll be interesting, but they're going to ultimately eliminate the part-time jobs. They have to combine 15,000 part-time jobs to create 7,500 new full-time jobs that are going to be 22-3. Uh, so there is going to be technically a job loss, although ultimately no hours lost here and wage increases uh, across the board, uh, wage increases for the part-time workers who continue to stay in there. What I think is honestly really interesting is the no force six punch. I've never heard this being described this way. I'm sure it's UPS or Teamster specific, but UPS can't force any package driver to work on their scheduled day off. And that language overrides any supplements. I mean, that's that's pretty powerful not to be able to work on a scheduled day off. I'm curious if that wouldn't just UPS uh, force UPS to schedule as many people as possible. And uh, I don't know, send people home or something of that nature if you had too many. I, I, I just wonder what, what that looks like going forward uh, to cover those sixth and seventh days. Uh, so what do you think about the new contract? Are you excited if you're in the Teamsters? Uh, is, does this make you want to join UPS if you're outside looking in? Let me know in the comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.